Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another mod showcase with your good old buddy Leaf. My name is Leaf. Oh wow, I probably didn't even need to say that. And yeah, so this is going to be the last mod showcase of season one. So I guess I'm kind of separating these into seasons now. So season two will kick it off next week. We will be getting into good old Africa pack, and that's going to be really amazing. I just received word from Dahlia that I will be getting a key. So Dahlia, if you do secretly watch my videos, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I will be DMing you soon. Anyways, hey, mod showcase time. All right, let's not get too distracted. So yes, this is going to be the final mod showcase of season one. And we do have a couple empty habitats this time around. We have one, two, three empty habitats, but... We do have a lot of creatures this time around. I'm sorry if my audio just got a little wonky right there. But anyways, we have one, two, three, four. Oh, these guys are... Well, that's a little sneak peek right there. Uh, easily one of my favorites this week. Don't know why they're doing that. Um, Alright, that's great. That's just wonderful. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And 8 plus 5 is 13. So 13 animals. Unfortunately, I wanted to show off the Kate Bushbuck in this one, but it wouldn't work with my game. I don't know why. I think it may be because of the content folder that is by Zyfy Gaming. So definitely do check that out. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of that. But hey, let's just jump right into it. So today we are gonna start it off with easily one of my favorite mods out of this entire week. I am absolutely floored by the level of quality on this one. This is the North American Raccoon, and look how adorable this is. Now, this is by Plastic Fork, or a Plastic Fork, as they go by on the Nexus, and this is based on the Red Panda. So yeah, we officially have a Red Panda Asset, pa ac asset Package Transplant. Yeah, I think these guys are absolutely adorable. These are the chunky raccoons that you always think of. So if you have like them like rummaging through the trash and stuff, you will definitely see them like that. Look at their little tail. I love these guys so much. They're perfect for, you know, Foxboro Zoo. I can't wait to throw them right in there once we actually get everything updated. And we will address that a little bit later on in the video. But yeah, I absolutely love these guys. So Plastic Fork, amazing job on that. This is their first mod, by the way, too. Like, I could never do something like this as, like, my first mod. I can't even do something like this nowadays but yeah this is absolutely amazing amazing i can't even stop saying that word but you know it's just true so over here even though i kind of decimated their habitat a little bit this is the shri Ra shri lankan leopard by havoc haruka yeah and good boy and these guys are absolutely beautiful you can tell the amount of love that these guys love to pour into their big cats it really is so incredible to see them do this so these guys they're from Sri Lanka, you know. We're gonna check out some of their habitat areas over here. So they're from this little part of India over here, even though a lot of people consider it to be completely separate. Um, I would still consider it within the subcontinent of India still. But yeah, these guys are absolutely striking creatures. I love the Zoopedia images for them. But you know, I just love seeing them like in their natural habitat like this. I'm sorry about like the lack of foliage this time around. Um, it's been a little bit busy recently. I just needed to get this out for all of you guys as soon as I could. But yeah, amazing job on the C3. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at their little toe beads. Ah! Okay, no, that's that's way too much for the audio levels today. But yeah, I absolutely love them. Look at the rosettes on them. Just an amazing job all around, guys. I absolutely love them. Now, coming over here... We have one of Jen's amazing mods, so Jen decided to grace us with a few new mods right before the update dropped, and these are easily some of like, her best ones yet. So this is one that she came to me, she was like, hey, I have this going on, can you code it? And I was like, when did you ever make this? <laughs> like, when did you have the time to make this? So yeah, this is the Yellow-Throated Martin, and these guys are the largest Martin species, and they are from Asia. And yeah, they're from like all around Asia. I absolutely love these guys. They're so cute. I love their little noses. I want to get like an even closer view to them. Oh, uh, and that yellow on them too. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know. I just really do love these guys. They're based on the otter. So they are a mustelid. So I felt like 
you know, Jen, you did a spot on job with that. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but they can't climb. But hey, like, it doesn't really matter. These guys are absolutely amazing creatures. And hey, they are perfect for any, like, small animal house that you may be doing. So let's, <gasps> oh, that is adorable. So yeah, amazing job on that, Jen. Also, I coded it, but that's not really that important for that. We are going to take it a little step further. So we are going to visit our good old friend, Mega Gaming Rex. And he has easily, like, improved his mod tenfold. So this is the Nile Crocodile. And we can see these absolute units right here. They have a lot of color variations, so you can see this one in the light a little bit more. Um, yeah, they're just a little bit twinge yellowish, or or yellow, orange, and brown. And yeah, they're just beautiful creatures. So these guys are found all over Africa, all the way up from Egypt, all the way down to Madagascar. So these guys are absolutely amazing creatures. And you know, it's such a keystone African species to have in the game. And you know, it'll really complement the pack that's coming next week. So that's going to be really amazing to see. So yeah, amazing job on that Mega Gaming Rex. Even look at those eyes. Like that is horrifying right there. I love him. But yeah, you can tell like the amount of love that they put into like all the scoots, all the model. It is really amazing. So great job on that Mega Gaming Rex. Now over here, I have one that I have fallen deeply in love with. I want to have this guy as a pet. This is the Southern Tamandua. And now these guys are from... Well, they have a little bit of a lot issue going on there, but I do believe Fnatic actually helped us out with that. But yeah, these guys are from South America, and they are related to the Anteater. And I absolutely love them. Look at their cute little faces. Look at their tiny little nose. It's not really tiny, but, you know, compared to the Anteater, it really is. But yeah, I absolutely love these guys. I want them to go on his hind legs to show off, like, their little tuxedo. Because it's absolutely adorable, but I love these guys. Jen did such an amazing job on them. They're perfect for any, like, you know, South American habitat or house. They're just absolutely striking creatures. And, you know, if you don't already have this downloaded, go download it now. But, hey, probably not now. Probably until after the Africa pack drops. We still need to get into that a little bit. I'll address that at the end. So be sure to stay tuned until there. And now over here. So forgive me, Frazzle. I'm going to butcher this. It's the Ladakh. Ladakh? Uriel? Uh, yeah. But <laughs> these guys go with the Uriels that we showed off last week. I realize I never got to show these guys off, so these are one of Frazzle's first ones, and they are beautiful creatures. I love this little, like, variation on the coat over here. It's so beautiful. But yeah, just another goat species for you guys to have. They are absolutely really cool creatures. I really do love the horns on them. Like, all the goat mods have been so amazing. Like, sheep, goats, everything. And these guys just really go and help that out. So yeah. Frazzle, amazing job as always. I can't wait to see what else you put out. Maybe do some domestic ones, you know? This is a little request from good old Leaf. Um, so over here, we have the Cozumel Island Raccoon. Now, this one was made by me and Nick. He made the original texture for it. Now, I... Plastic 4 came into my uh, DMs recently, and he or she, I don't really know, um, was like, hey, I'm making a raccoon. Thanks for, like, you know... I hope I use your files to kind of like figure it out and I was like dang it like I I was making a raccoon too <laughs> so I kind of had to repurpose our little raccoon into the Cozumel Island one and I absolutely love these guys so these guys they have a little bit of skinnier tails they have a little bit of a brown tail so these guys are only found on Cozumel Island and I still love them they're just the cutest little bandits ever look at their little face there's a little bit of a distortion right there. He's taking a little poopy. Oh, I can't wait to disable that going forward. But, um, yeah, these guys are really cute. They're only found in this little island in Mexico. And I'll show you it. You guys might not be too familiar with it, but it's right there. And, yeah, it's shaped like that. So that's pretty much all I have to say about them. Uh, I didn't notice that that's a little broken right there. So I will go back and fix that up. I apologize. But yeah, these guys are really cool. So if you ever need like a bit more of a tropical taste to your raccoons, uh, feel free to grab these guys. And watch him say goodbye to us. He he doesn't want us to go, but we gotta check some other stuff out. 
We're going to save this exhibit over for last because that's one of my favorite animals. But over here, we have a lot of stuff to get into. So let's start off with the first thing that grabs our attention. And it's the fact that all of them can't get up. That is just great. So excuse me for a second while I just, you know, edit their habitat a little bit so that they can. And we're going to speed up time just a wee bit more. And hopefully they can get up at this point. Yeah, there they go. All right. So we have sped up time and they're just making their happy little ways into the exhibit. We have a lot of, oh wow, we have a lot of poop going on down there. All right, so let's start off with, you know, kind of the biggest one in here. So this is the Oceanic Sunfish, otherwise known as the Mola Mola. And these guys are really cool. So I ported these over from Hendrix. I asked him for his permission and he said, yeah, go for it. So basically this guy is from Wildlife Park 2. He kind of revamped it and I kind of revamped it too. So you might notice that uh, there's a few model differences. The uh, tail was originally supposed to have a little bit of transparency that I wasn't able to achieve. So I kind of had Jerry rig the model a little bit, but besides that, I think it makes its way into the game very well. Uh, where's the other one? He's just showing out by the shore. That's, you know, that's supposed to happen, but that's fine. Uh, let's check a look at this guy. So this is the bull shark. And I absolutely love these guys. These guys are badass. They look like chunky big sharks. And yeah, these guys were originally made by Zero, as always, the Shark King. And yeah, these guys are absolutely ex exquisite creatures. I really do love these guys. They're actually found in some freshwater locales like the Mississippi River. And I know they're found in a few rivers in Australia too as well. And they may actually prey on like, you know, some like inland creatures, maybe even crocodiles, like baby crocodiles at some point. I could be entirely wrong, but still they are badass creatures. So definitely do check them out so this guy is ugly so this guy is the goblin shark and i have no idea why it's just staying still why are they all staying still this is such a peculiar peculiar circumstance uh we'll just move him to the land maybe he'll you know find his way back into the water because i do want to show him swimming a little bit so these guys are originally made by Aurora Designs, as always. So now we actually do have all the Aurora Designs sharks in the game. And yeah, they're absolutely exquisite creatures as well. So you may you may say, hey, Leaf, how come it doesn't have that protruding mouth that I always see the goblin shark have? Now, that's a very interesting question right there. So they actually do have the ability to extend their mouth and push their jaw out of their body a little bit. Kind of think of like... I don't know, probably like pre uh, a xenomorph. Yeah, that's more like it. Like a xenomorph pushing like the mouth out and stuff like that. They kind of have that going on with them. But normally they kind of do look like this. So they kind of do look like, you know, a little bit harmless. And they really aren't a threat to humans. But still, they're absolutely amazing creatures to have. They're not really found in captivity. I know there were a couple of attempts to uh, keep them in captivity. But, you know, none of them have really been successful. Kind of like great white sharks. Uh, but yeah, they are really cool creatures. So while we're talking about sharks, let's check out this guy over here. So this is the leopard shark. And I believe this one was ported from Whale Bite by me. And yeah, I really do love these guys. So if you guys have ever seen the Africa Rock section at uh, San Diego Zoo, you might notice that these guys are kept in with African penguins. So I will make sure to up these update these guys as soon as possible so you guys can actually recreate that creation as soon as you can so i really do love these guys a little bit simpler on the texture but you know from far away they really do look good so i do like them so much and let's see if we're missing anything we are missing one it is the famous kelp bass now these guys are absolutely crazy creatures they are absolutely insane like these guys are cooler than great white shark i'm just kidding of course they're kind of they're kind of boring, but still, they're actually very essential creatures to have them. Like, you know, you might have, like, a nice big kelp tank. If you guys haven't seen Why Andrew's video on, um, like, his uh, Gold Coast Aquarium, I think it was. I forget the name of it. I'm so sorry, Why, and I know I'm a fake fan. But, yeah, this one was originally made by Tom, so maybe in exhibits like that, they would be perfect for. We lost him. He's kind of tiny. But, yeah, these guys are the perfect, like, you know classic aquarium fish and i will hopefully get some more out to you guys as soon as i can i want to do stuff like trevallis and barracudas so definitely do keep an eye out for that 
once 1.6 does drop and I kind of like, you know, I kind of had my fun with how you say the uh, Africa pack. So yeah, those guys are really cool. So, but let's, we got, I'm feeling a little too salty. Let's go into some freshwater escapades right now. So we do have one that I am very fond of. So I actually worked with Fnatic on this one and it is the smallmouth bass. Now these guys are really cool. I love them so much. Look at the texture on this. So Fnatic did this entire texture and they look absolutely striking. So Fnatic was like, hey, you leave, yo leave. I got a bunch of fish I've been working on. You want some? And I was like, heck yeah. So Fnatic gave me the pumpkin seed and I think it was one other one. And I was like, yo, how about a smallmouth bass? And Fnatic like delivered this like a couple hours later and it looks absolutely amazing. So amazing job on that Fnatic. These guys are easily making their way into like pretty much every single zoo that I build from now on because I don't know. They really are amazing. I love them. But we got to address these guys over here. So I did show these guys off two weeks ago and I apologize on that. Look at them swim upside down and stuff. So these guys are the Amazon River Dolphin, and yep, they are their own species now. I absolutely love them. So these guys were ported over from Endless Ocean 2, easily one of my favorite games, other than, you know, Planet Zoo or something like that. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. I love the pink and the blue. It just, it screams like it's such a beautiful creature. I can't get over it, but... Yeah, that is pretty much all I have to report for you guys this week. All these guys are on the Nexus. So I do want to address some stuff in regards to the Africa pack. So you guys do need to delete all your mods. Um, I'll show you guys do how to do it right here. So basically just delete every single thing except for content 0 through 5, as well as game main, and then just give it the old delete. Hopefully you guys can see it, but if not, you know, it's no biggie. Um, but yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this mod showcase this week. Definitely do let me know which one is your favorite. I gotta say Sri Lankan Leopard. I'm becoming a big cat fan and this one absolutely does it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a wonderful day.